What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's time to dig into some of those burning anime questions that keep us up late at night. And I am of course talking about the anime harems. Well, it's definitely something that keeps me up nights. At this point, I think it's safe to say that it is practically a staple of the industry. Heck, Almost every isekai anime has some form of harem aspect, and if it doesn't, it definitely has the allure of multiple characters that we can ship with the MC. As much as I personally love a great harem series, because I'm all about that sort of anime culture, I'll be the first to admit that watching it play out on screen would be very different from actually experiencing it. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that I doubt very much we anime fans would be able to survive in most anime harems. Never mind the fact that we'd be dealing with a huge variety of girls that like to punch, kick, and slap. It would be the secondary characters that would be the end of us, ultimately destroying us thoroughly. I recently came across an article talking about anime harems that are total nightmare scenarios, and it got me to thinking about not just the difficulty aspect. Harem anime are sort of designed to appeal to the viewer. It's fluff fantasy at its best. In the same way that wizards with laser swords fly through the galaxy, harem anime is top tier fan service. As in, service to the fans, not that other thing that requires us to reserve special alone time in our bunks. Should we, however, find ourselves in a harem situation, I think it's fair to say that some would be better than others, if you were to take in the nature of the characters. I, for one, would probably be dead a hundred times over as the main character in Ron Mahaff, since... I don't know martial arts, and the first time Akane gave me a roundhouse kick to the face, I'd be pushing up daisies with the rest of the dudes that dared to so much look her way. Love Hina is often an anime that I cite as the most hated anime I used to like. If I thought for one single second that I'd be dead meat in the world of Ranma, I'd be an emotional train wreck after just 10 minutes of meeting the girls in Love Hina. Rude, obnoxious, violent, spiteful, and arrogant are just some of the words I would use to sum up how they would wreck my world, and all of that before I could probably get through the introductions. Sometimes, though, the harem seems to be smooth sailing, and there is at least one girl devoted to winning the heart of the main protagonist. Assuming I wasn't so caught up in the fantasy world and my own outrageous power levels to notice... I would have to contend with the dude-gating that girl number one imposes on all other contestants. It's like when the childhood friend has a crush but is too weak sauce to confess and then expresses her undying eternal love for the guy with punches to the face and then hating every other girl that so much as, as talks to him. I think I read this somewhere as anime is going to anime. Fantasy harems are cool, and definitely the stuff of some great comedic moments. But I honestly think that's about as far as it goes. Even in an idyllic situation where a lucky guy manages to garner a handful of groupies that vie for the attention of that D, the levels of expectation, commitment, and timeshare would render any normal person dead by default. If you've ever been in a situation where you've thoroughly and royally screwed up, but don't know what you've done, and spent nights losing sleep because your partner is plotting your demise over said wrongdoing, then imagine multiplying that by a power of four or five, and we all know how the world would end. Not with a bang, but a whimper. As much as I enjoy a good, funny, and entertaining harem comedy or isekai, I know for a fact that I would last all of two seconds in a real one, especially any of the ones in anime. But don't let my sniveling cowardice sway you. What are some harem anime that you think you could survive in? Have any tricks that might help out the rest of us if and when our ticket gets punched? Let me know by heading to the comments and making with some words. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. 
And if you did, it would be great if you would consider liking and subscribing. Have an amazing day, everyone. Keep being awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.